Hey Knights, are you in the holiday spirit? Well, in Christian leadership, we sure are. Let's learn about some of the prominent holidays this time of year. Both that of Catholic tradition and from other faiths. Let's start with Advent. The season of Advent began on November 29th. Advent is a time of preparation for the birth of Christ and for his second coming. We celebrate Advent by lighting candles throughout the season. These candles represent the hope that is born with Christ's nativity and the anticipation of his second coming. Three of the candles are purple. The color represents the prayer, sacrifice, and penance that are facilitated by Catholics during Advent. One candle, however, is rose-colored. This candle is lit on Gaudete Sunday, which marks the halfway point of the Advent season. Each year, Notre Dame celebrates Advent by progressively lighting these candles in front of the gym lobby. Now on to Hanukkah, the festival of lights celebrated in Judaism. Hanukkah begins on December 10th and lasts for eight days. Each night of Hanukkah, one candle is lit on a menorah. This celebration comes from a miraculous event where a small group of Jewish people defeated an army and reclaimed the Holy Temple in Jerusalem. However, when they attempted to light the menorah in their newly reclaimed temple, they could only find a small quantity of olive oil. By some miracle, they successfully lit the menorah and the oil lasted for eight days. Hanukkah celebrates this miracle through menorah lighting, festive music, and traditional Jewish foods like latkes and matzo ball soup. Well, we hope you enjoyed learning about the holiday traditions. Have a happy and safe holiday season, Knights. Good morning, Knights. That was your mission moments for this week. Welcome to NDTV. I'm Jan Mendoza, your guest anchor for today. Today is Friday, December 11th, 2020. We have an exciting show for you, filled with lots of information and things to do as we go into lockdown. Let's see what Sally has for us. Thank you, Jan. I'm your anchor, Sally Pinkert, here with some fun upcoming stories. Today's show will spotlight different people in our sports community, a look at a local anchor in her broadcasting career, a teacher and YouTuber who got her start as a knight, and an amazing crib that belongs to a family at ND. Lastly, we have a new segment just for our students from our counseling department, as well as new ideas to make quarantine a little more enjoyable. Get ready, Knights, we're just getting started. It's senior Sammy Smith and welcome to the Counseling Corner. Every other week, we will bring you information directly from our counseling department on what you need to know as students. This week is on seniors and colleges. Here's what we have. Seniors, if you hear any results from colleges, please be sure to email your counselor and make sure to change your application status on Naviance. If you receive an email from your college saying you are missing a form or submission, those are automatic. That's normal, but you should email your counselor anyway to make sure everything is submitted. We know that college can be expensive and many of us need some support, so make sure to turn in your FAFSA application as soon as possible. Also, for scholarship opportunities, please see Ms. Milan's weekly newsletter. Likewise, remember, if you've turned in your Cal Grant form already, there's nothing else that needs to be done at this time. If you applied early action or early decision to any college and received a deferral notice, let your counselor know immediately. One last reminder, please remember that your counselors may not be able to meet over winter break. So if you have a college application deadline in early January or late December, please schedule a meeting with your counselor as soon as you can. Well, that's all we have from you and your counseling department, so stay tuned in a couple weeks to hear more. I'm Sammy Smith, signing out for NDTV. Hey Knights, it's Anthony. I know quarantine just got 10 times harder with all your schoolwork, restaurants closing, and rising cases. 
but I'm here today to spice up your quarantine life. Keeping yourself motivated and active is extremely important for your mental health and a great pastime. Speaking of your mental health, I even got a word from your friend and mine, counselor Miss Lewis. Check it out. I think this is a really important topic. I mean, uh, I don't think we expected that quarantine would have lasted this long and that we would be back on lockdown again. Uh, so taking care of our mental health is incredibly, incredibly important. Thank you so much for your words of wisdom, Miss Lewis. Now, enjoy some more examples. Number one, exercise. I know, I cringed at the word too, but getting your body moving is so important. Whether it be playing basketball in your front yard, cheering it out, busting a move, working on your glutes, or even just stretching. It's important to find your namaste in any way. Number two, mind games. Yes, I know you're tired of being tested on Zoom from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m., but try doing something that challenges your mind in a fun way. Drawing, puzzles, riddles, learning a new language, or even try reading, yes, a whole book. Shout out to the English department. Or even just watching games like Jeopardy to allow your mind to think in new creative ways. Number three, to the kitchen. Number three, the kitchen. Yes, the place where you go to grab some chips you told yourself you wouldn't grab, but that's okay, you deserve it. But you also deserve really great meals and fun treats. I love making smoothies personally, and who doesn't love chocolate chip cookies? So give mom and dad a break and get your hands dirty for once and try whipping up something you love to eat without your microwave. Yeah, hold please. Number four, communication, yeah. I'm talking to all you people who leave others on read, delivered, or do not disturb. Shutting yourself off from other people is a catalyst for toxic relationships. Who knows what great conversation is waiting for you? And it's just a snap, DM, phone call to grandma, FaceTime with a childhood friend, or even an email away. Anyway, what I was saying is that in times like this, it's super important to stay connected, especially when you're a social butterfly like me. Well, Knights, I really hope one of my ideas helps spice up your quarantine even just a little bit. Please remember to stay safe and take care of the others around you and, of course, your mental health. Try one of the activities I mentioned on the list, at home, because we wouldn't be doing them if you stayed at home. Anyway, Knights, this has been Anthony Zike signing off for NDTV. Recently, I got to interview Hispanic singer and meteorologist Belen De Leon to ask her a few questions about how she incorporates her heritage into her career. I'm originally from a very small town in South Texas, and growing up, I knew that I liked two things. I liked science. I was interested in science. I wanted to be an astronaut, and I loved to sing. Um, I lived right along the border, so growing up, I had lots of influence with my culture. I grew up speaking two languages, and I eventually, right out of high school, I got a record deal. So I started traveling the country. Uh, I won uh, two Latin billboards. I have four rec recorded albums. And then uh, after that, uh, things just kind of fell in a way where I got out of a musical group, and then I got the opportunity to start working at a television station. I got my foot in the door that way and started learning more about broadcasting. And I found a way to incorporate doing weather in Spanish too. So even though I was working for an NBC station, I would you know, carry my flag, my Hispanic flag very high. And, um, and I was able to do the weather and incorporate little words in Spanish. And people really appreciated that, that I was being myself. Now I'm able to do both. So not only do I do the weather, I'm a meteorologist, but I also sing too. So it's something that, you know, it's also something that makes me unique because people know that I'm a singer. Every once in a while while I'm doing the forecast, I bust into song. So that's different. That sets you apart from everyone else. So I have the best of both worlds. We thank Miss DeLeon so much for doing this interview with us. This is Renee Bob signing up for NGTV. I am Kelsey Kreffel. <laughs> Happy day! I don't know what day it is. <laughs> Last week, Anthony and I had an amazing interview with 2011 alumni Kelsey Kreppel on her life after high school. Let's get right into it. What did you decide to pursue after high school? 
I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a preschool teacher. Um, so I went to Cal State Northridge CSUN for child development. So with you becoming a preschool teacher, how has quarantine kind of affected that for you? So my school, the school that I teach at, I teach there part-time now. So I'm actually doing all the Zooms for all the classes, for all the kids who wanted to stay home. But it's been fun. Are there any hobbies that you have developed or started doing during quarantine? <laughs> I'm really good at doing nothing. I've started cooking more and like actually, I used to actually really be set on the fact that I like wasn't able to cook anything and I've learned that I it turns out I can follow a recipe so I've been doing that which is exciting. Do you mind talking about your YouTube career? Oh no. Yeah so I started I guess like three years ago now. I met my boyfriend Cody and he was doing it. I was like I, I want to do it. I don't know I was just like I I don't want to be this random girl that's in your videos once in a while and for people to only like me because I'm his girlfriend. So I'd rather them like know my personality. Making YouTube videos is fun. It's, it's intense. It's a weird world. I like to think that I'm like a little bit normal because a lot of people that make them are not. So I want to be a normal person on YouTube for a change. So that's my goal. I'm <laughs> so fun. What activities did you do at Notre Dame? I was a cheerleader. Yeah, all four years. One final question, okay. speaking of Notre Dame, yes. is there anything that you would like to say to your past teachers or the current knights in the family of Notre Dame right now? Oh my God, watch me start crying. <laughs> Hi, I miss you all. Like it is the best school. And I remember going to college and I knew so much more than like kids in my classes. Like I was like, I learned this in high school because I went to the best school. And so you have to appreciate where you are. Where you guys are all lucky to go to school there. And my past teachers, hi guys. Notre Dame actually like, I say to my parents a lot, I wouldn't have met Cody if I didn't go to Notre Dame because I was living with a friend from Notre Dame. I, all my best friends are still my friends from high school. Notre Dame, it is a great place. It's a, it changed my life. So I love it. A big thank you to Kelsey for the interview. This is Paris Brewster signing out for NDTV. Hey guys, it's Louisa and Katie, and today we're going to go see an ND crib. Let's go check it out. I'm Jake Strasbourg. I'm Gunnar Strasbourg, and this is our crib. Come on in. This is the movie theater, and Gunnar and I stay up every night till like 3 a.m. just watching movies and shows in here. This is my bed. Better than Jake's bed. Always will be better than Jake's bed. This is my desk. This is where I do my Zoom. And this is where it all happens. Straight A's only. This is my bed. Most comfortable bed in the world. I get eight hours of sleep every night. This is my desk, it's very fancy, and obviously a genius when it comes to the desk. This is the couch, this is where the video games are. I haven't turned them on in like five months, but I guess you can play them if you sit here. This is the gym. Thanks for coming to my crib. This is Louisa Binder and Katie Ogolnik signing out for NDTV. What an amazing crib. Thank you to the Stromsbergs for letting us take a look. Well, that's our show for today, Knights. We hope you love the show this week. As we close, don't forget to sign up to attend the Filmmakers Workshop on script writing tomorrow. Winter break is approaching, so please stay safe so we can all have a healthy and happy holiday. I'm Sally Pinkert. And I'm Jane Mendoza. Enjoy your weekend, Knights. Mm -hmm.